Alright ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the news desk here on INeedComics.com, part of the Pop Culture Network. As always, I am your host, Dirt, and today we're going to take a look at some of the comic news you've been talking about. In fact, I'm looking at some of the highly commented stories online and some of the things from our message board to talk about what we're talking here today. So, if there's something you want to see covered, make sure you stop by the Pop Culture Network forums, join the comic discussion. You can always send me a tweet at PCN underscore dirt or send me an email dirt at popculturenetwork.com now getting into the news stories first up this week the scrolls are not the villains of the new avengers movie shortly after an image leaked showing a crashed ufo on the set of the new avengers movie uh, marvel studios president kevin feig came forward to say that in fact it is not the scrolls it is an alien race that you know from the comics, but they're not a key part of the story. It's just something that happens as part of the fantastic world of the Avengers. So they're not setting up for the Kree Scroll War or anything like that. Hopping over to Image, The Infinite, the story from Robert Kirkman and Rob Liefeld, is done. Basically, the two came to creative differences. Robert Kirkman and uh, Rob Liefeld were working on the story together, Rob providing the artwork, and the two of them just could not come to an agreement of some sort after issue 5 had been delayed and delayed and rescheduled again and again. They just finally decided to call it quits. It was never going to get finished, and so that series, it seems, is over. Marvel regained the top spot over DC Comics in December as far as money-wise goes in the market share. Reports out of Diamond Comic Distributors says that Marvel eked out a win over DC Comics in December, 34.43% to 33.74%. So the numbers were very close, but Marvel was able to come out on top. Now, DC had been in the lead quite a bit with the launch of the new 52. Their uh, growth over Marvel shrunk quite a bit in the months following, and in December, Marvel just slightly edged them. We'll have to see what the new year brings, and whether or not the cancellation of six titles and the launch of six new titles later on this year will help to turn that back around. One of the whipping boys this week has been the Fox News affiliate. Uh, most sites just report, hey, Fox News had this bad story. No one seems to uh, mention the fact that this is a local news affiliate, not the national network. However, Fox 5 in Washington, D.C. took complaints from D.C. comic book readers saying that the new books are full of too much sex and too much violence, things that we've even talked about here on the news desk, things we've talked about in the comic reviews, books like Catwoman, books like uh, Red Hood and the Outlaws are pretty controversial in the way that they are treating the sexual lives of their characters. And so the news story picked this up, talked to a longtime reader who was upset with some of the uh, you know, changes that have been made, and did a story about it. Of course, uh, when it comes to people online commenting about the story, no one seems to do any of their research to see that these are the same criticisms that fans have been having across the board. So, you know, it's easy to slam on Fox News because it's Fox News and hey, why bother to even do a little bit of research into the situation? And finally, the first clip from Justice League Doom has been posted on Facebook. If you were to follow me on Facebook, you would have seen the link show up in my timeline. Even if you followed me on Google+, Plus, you'd be able to find the link there, and I think it even was in my Twitter feed. If you want to find it, you can also stop by popculturenetwork.com, come to the comics forum, and you'll find a link where you can watch this first clip from the new animated movie from DC Animation. That's going to wrap it up as far as the news goes this week. Here's a look at some of the books coming out this week. DC Comics heavy hitter this week, Justice League number 5, available standalone and in a combo pack with a digital download code. 
Other members of the Justice League have solo books out, Flash, Superman, Batman, The Dark Knight, and Aquaman, the fan favorite surprise book of the year. Marvel's heavy hitters this week, Captain America and Bucky, Fantastic Four, and The Mighty Thor are all out, as well as Deadpool the Musical, which is the issue before his death, Dak and 20, the issue before it's canceled, and Alpha Flight 8, the final book in that series. From Dynamite Comics, we've got licensed books in Robocop, Dark Shadows, and A Game of Thrones. Also, Transformers, Robots in Disguise, number one, and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, number six. IDW also kicks off Infestation 2 this week, this time with a Cthulhu theme instead of zombies. Also, more horror books in Dead Rising, Road to Fortune, and the 30 Days of Night ongoing series. Over at Image, we've got new issues of Mice Templar and Green Wake, as well as everybody's favorite book, The Walking Dead. Other books from around the comic book universe, including Part 3 of Archie Meets Kiss in Archie Comics 629. We've got family-friendly book, Spider-Man, Marvel Adventures, Bart Simpson, and everybody's favorite book in the whole universe, Strawberry Shortcake. There's lots of books coming out this week. Make sure to check shoppcn.com to order your favorites. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-